Good morning, YouTube. It's Joe. Back at you from the same location. I'm at the same high school. It's March break. Thursday, March 17th, and I'm just doing the rest of these laptops. I'm almost done this project, but I'm kind of babysitting this process in this room, so I've got some time to kill. And uh, Silly Yet Succinct, who is somebody whose YouTube channel I watch, had a, a tag question. It was 15 questions, so I just thought I'd tag myself and do it. And you're all tagged, by the way. I love stuff like this. Okay, so 15 questions to answer, and I haven't thought about them, so I think I'm going to actually skip a few because I don't know the answers. In fact, number one is, what do you think you can do but can't? And I don't know the answer to that question because I think I can do anything, and that's really sad but true. I've often tried, like I was about to say maybe change a tire because I had a flat tire the other day, but I could have changed it. I just didn't want to. It was cold and wet, and I didn't really know where the jack went. I'm sure I could have figured it out. Like I've seen it done before, and I've done it before in a workshop class. Sorry about that. I keep getting disrupted by caretaking. They hear me talking to myself in this room, and anyway. Okay, so that was, what do I think I can do but can't? And uh, I think I can do anything, really, that I set my mind to. Which is probably, that's the answer to that question, everything, or anything. Because maybe there are certain things I can't do, but I think I can, right? What's a difficult word for you to pronounce? Um, I had a hard time with this one, too. I'm sure there are tons. The one that sprung to mind was often. My mother always criticizes me. She says it's often, and we looked it up. And it's either way, but I always say often, and we argue about it constantly, which is kind of funny. Okay, uh, what is your favorite TV show from your childhood? I watched a lot of TV when I was a kid. Too much. Too much. I watched TV every day, all day, when I was a little kid. I didn't go and play very much. So I remember um, little kids' shows would have been something like Read Along. Do you remember Boot and Pretty and Bones? I don't know if you watched this Canadian thing. It was on TVO. It was Ontario. Um, Jeremy was also on that channel, Polka Dot Door. Then, as I got older, I remember being addicted to St. Elsewhere and Another World and Guiding Light. I used to watch soaps. Go figure that one out. When I was a kid with my mom. Oh, and there was one called Texas. Spin-off from Another World. Good God. Okay, what are your virtues and vices? Sometimes I think I suffer from delusions of grandeur. I think highly of myself. I'm a very honest person. I think that's one of my greatest virtues. And it's possibly also one of my greatest vices. Um, honest to a fault. Uh, I do say things sometimes when they're not called for. I'm honest to people who aren't asking for honesty. That's the vice side of it. On the bright side, I never have to worry about did I, who did I say what to and no, oh, what story do I have to keep straight? Because it's the only story in my head is the one, the reality. So it's an easy life. I think I'm kind. I think I'm very calm and um, compassionate. Not always compassionate, maybe that's the wrong word, but people often comment on how nice I, like I'm very, I, you know, kind and, and I, I, I put people at ease. I think that's one of my greatest strengths. Uh, vices, harsh, a little bit critical, um, rude. Um, yeah, too honest, like bitingly honest maybe. What's more important, love, fame, power, or money? Well, I don't even know the answer to that question. I mean, the normal person would say love, right? But fame is really nice. I like being famous. I had some fame in my life, a little bit. I ran for political office three times, and I was on a local TV show, and I've been published a couple times, so, you know, my name is kind of known. Um, I, I actually love that feeling of fame. I love it. I'm a Leo. What can I say? Power is really, really, I could be, get drunk on power easily. And money, I love money. I don't know the answer to that question. They're all equally important. If you could live in any era or time period, when would it be and why? I don't know. I think I've, I think any time, I, I love history. I love, um, I guess maybe early 1900s as the advent of the car came around, like as technology came about. I don't know, I, I'm not, I wouldn't want to work, I wouldn't want to live in an era where you had to just slave away all day at a, in a farmer's field or something like that, or you know, as a chimney sweep in like England in the 1800s or something, I wouldn't want that. I don't know, I like, I like living in the current era. That is one of my thrills. I love, I love this era. I love the technology. I love the way information is readily available. I don't know the answer to that question. I'm a bore, and I'm not answering these very well. Okay, if you had to redo 
your entire wardrobe with two stores, what would they be and why? Well, that's easy. Value Village, which is everything I own is from Value Village. Except for the things I'm wearing today. I'm wearing a Badlands t-shirt, which was my favorite national park. I bought that at, at Badlands National Park in South Dakota. And this sweater is Eddie Bauer. And I'm not much of a brand whore, but Eddie Bauer always fits me. So if I find Eddie Bauer at Value Village, that's the cream of the crop. Because I don't like paying retail prices. But Value Village is... Uh, you know, whatever, secondhand thrift shop. That's my preference. I prefer to shop at thrift shops. I do not like full prices. And uh, I don't like contributing to a consumer economy. I like using, reusing used goods. Can you recall what you were doing a year ago on this day? And that actually made me laugh because just as I was reading the questions, I did look back. I blogged for over 10 years, pretty much daily, and I stopped a year ago. So I couldn't refer to my blog, which was weird, but I referred to my YouTube channel. And interestingly, it was a year ago today, uh, March 17th, where I started to really um, get into gender queerdom, which is something I've embraced this year completely, which I had discovered the word gender queer. And I think there were three or four videos quick in a row where I had discussed gender queer. One of them had my mother. Actually, those, that's March 14th, 15th, 16th. And I was also packing to move, because I moved at the end of March last year. It's been almost a year since I moved. But on November, March 17, 2010, I uploaded a video called Self-Esteem 101, which I had filmed in an in a elementary school library that, that I was working in. That So I was doing a project that year. It was kind of interesting, exactly like what I'm doing today. I'm in, an element, I'm in a high school classroom, but I was doing something from work. I guess maybe it was spring break or no one was around. Okay, let's look at the next question. Do you have recurring dreams? If so, explain. I always have the dream where my teeth fall out. They all rot and fall out of my head. I don't know if you've ever had that one. That's a bad one. I think it's because I had really bad teeth all my life. Um, I'm, I call this the million dollar smile. You might not think it. It doesn't look like much, but I love my, my teeth right now because this is the best they've ever been. Actually, I had all th I had these three done last week. I'm going today to get these three done. My front teeth all filled because of my Diet Coke consumption and it erodes the enamel. And my teeth are crooked and I don't care. They're still, each each tooth is probably a thousand bucks in my head and I kid you not, but I have a really good dental plan at work. Um, recurring dreams of, yeah, pretty much a tooth one or maybe kind of being late. I, I can't, I don't, I'm not one to remember my dreams. Number 10, what's your horoscope? I'm a Leo, can't you tell? Uh, Sagittarius rising, moon in Taurus, and I could rattle off the rest, but those are, that's the main. Uh, moon in Taurus is a big one because I have moon at zero degrees Taurus. I think some charts indicate it at three degrees. It's the only feminine sign in my chart, and um, it's very stabilizing. I love my moon in Taurus. That's the highlight of my chart. I really love it. And it also forms a pivot point to a yod with my Neptune and Pluto, which are in um, Sagittarius and um, Pluto and Libra, respectively, which is 150 degree angles. So they point to my moon, so it's a very pivotal planet in my chart. Yeah. But I am a Leo. I appear to be a Leo, which is very proud and cocky and all that. Um, warm. Sagittarius rising means that free spirit, that crazy gypsy spirit that I have. And the moon in Taurus is the stabilizing, the really earth, down to earth force that I've been blessed with. Okay, what does your dream bedroom look like? I couldn't care less. I am not a bedroom person. I just bought a new bed, but it's funny because my room's a mess and there's no wallpaper on the walls or... I just kind of threw the bed in the corner. <laughs> I put some white Christmas lights, those little lights along the bed frame so I could have light to read by at night. I really like my new bed. You see it in the background of a lot of my videos because I'm in my room a lot, but my room is not done up in any way, shape, or form. So it's it doesn't matter. I just sleep there. I'm not, I'm not into home decoration. It doesn't thrill me. What position do you sleep in? Uh, a lot of times, for a lot of years, I slept flat on my back because I have a cat, Stanley who I had a single bed for a lot of years and there was not room for both of us. So I would lay on flat on my back and he would lay on my lap. And he's a heavy, he's a fat cat and he would just sleep on me and I'd lay flat. And I also slept on a cot in a van when I lived in the van. And uh, yeah, I can, I can sleep or on my side. Uh, not really my stomach because of the boobs, but yeah, I can sleep pretty much in any position. I'm running out of time here. Jeez, i got to speed it up. Who is your favorite vampire of all time? Stupid bullshit question. I hate vampires. I hate that whole genre. I don't know why people love it. I just don't get it. Number 14. What are you currently wearing on your feet? Can you see? Uh, 
Okay. <laughs> you can see that. They're Keens. They're my favorite shoes in the whole wide world. I love Keens. Um, they're just lace-up black shoes, and I've had them for years, and I adore them. I think about them in 2007. Yeah, I wear these every day. The dentist always comments on them. She'll comment on them today. And do you have neat handwriting? Show us. No, I have terrible handwriting. Um, I love this little... That's just scratch, chicken scratch. This is, this is sort of what I do during the day. I just write down serial numbers because I run around computer to computer and make sure they match up with my server. Um, yeah, I have terrible handwriting. Always have, always will. My sister always had the pretty handwriting in the family. Um, plus, I prefer to type. Oh, is that working? No, it's not. Damn. I have one that hasn't worked in days. Okay, that's it. I'm coming up on too late. I don't want to go over. Um, so those are the 15 questions. I'll post them at the bottom of this link, uh, at the bottom of this video. So go ahead and tag yourself and post it as a response video to me. I love response videos, by the way, and I love responses. So you can comment anytime. I love comments. Um, yeah, take it easy. See you later.